Thank you, Edinburgh. Good evening. Yeah. Good to be here at the Comedy Road Show. Thought maybe start off with a, a joke. <laughs> so I seen a sign that said, "Have you seen this man?" So I phoned up and I said, "No." <laughs> It's something to do, isn't it? Uh, I might be a few things, but I'm not a grass. <laughs> so it's good to be in Edinburgh. I'm actually from Glasgow myself. Thank you. I uh, would very much get a, a reputation. The city of Glasgow was recently announced as Europe's murder capital but also voted the UK's friendliest city. <laughs> In the same week, <laughs> uh, we got our act together pronto. <laughs> you might get the shite kicked out of you, but you'll get directions to the hospital. <laughs> oh. Nice people. A bit mental, but a friendly mental. Ah. <laughs> I also remember my first ever altercation with a friendly madman. Right. It was about midnight. I was standing at a bus stop waiting on a bus. <laughs> That's the way I play the game, right? <laughs> That's how I roll. At the, at the bus stop waiting on a bus, two people sat beside me, they were doing something similar and uh, everybody was having a good time. <laughs> Sounds a bit far-fetched but it's based on a true story. <laughs> so everyone's there getting their bus stop on when a, a friendly madman showed up. A guy, he was across the road and he shouted, Hoi you! Hoi you! I, you! <laughs> now when you're at a bus stop at midnight, and somebody instigates a conversation with Hoi you, Hoi you, I, you, you kind of shite yourself. <laughs> and you, you try and keep your head down, right? And then the guy shouts, Hoi, fat boy, <laughs> fatty. And while I'm standing there and I'm looking at the two people, <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to figure out their BMI. And, uh, because <laughs> one of us is about to become a statistic, right? <laughs> but beside me were just these two big skinny pensioner types. So <laughs> cool, this one must be for me. And the guy said, fat boy, give me a quid or you're getting stabbed. <laughs> I thought, a quid? Well, that was quite reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Panic over. I mean, I've never been stabbed, right? But I can imagine it'd be somewhat inconvenient. Maybe even put a dampener on your evening, right? You'd be covered in blood. You'd need to go to a hospital to get stitches. You'd be physically and emotionally traumatised. And here, we've got a gentleman <laughs> offering me the chance to bypass such a horrendous ordeal <laughs> in this current financial climate. For a mere pound. <laughs> now I'm a sucker for a bargain. So. <laughs> In Edinburgh, you're talking at least a fiver, aren't you? <laughs> Is everybody having a good credit crunch? Everybody, everybody enjoying it? I don't really know what happened. No, I just remember everything just became really expensive, right? And you never asked any questions. You just get charged astronomical prices just to be told, oh yeah, that's the credit crunch. Right, but the final straw for me, I was in a shop, right? 
and I was buying a packet of bikers. <laughs> a packet of space radars. <laughs> and a packet of Johnny's onion rings. <laughs> Does anybody know the collective term for these kind of crisps? <laughs> exactly. Now imagine my shock when the guy asked me for 45 pence. <laughs> Now, when 10p crisps are costing 15p, <laughs> that's when I began to take an interest in economics. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I started watching Bloomberg and you know, reading the Financial Times, oh, the footsies up on the Dow Jones, who knows what that means, but it's only a matter of time before we are paying a quid for a chomp. See, I was never like the rich. I don't come from like a wealthy background, but I don't come from a poor background. I was never. I was always the kind of in-between guy. Like, remember the first day, the first day back at school after the summer holidays. That that was the day you found out what class you were in. I don't mean educationally. <laughs> I mean socially. Right? No, you'd. I would never like the rich kids that would. I was never one of them that would come strolling in and have a suntan in a new school bag, but I was never one of the ones that would come in with like a black eye and a, a new second name. <laughs> Remember him, you'd need to ask your teacher, you'd be going, Sir, how come eh, Jamie Cosgrove is now called Jamie De La Cruz? <laughs> oh, it's because his mum's a dirty. Thank you all.